This is the second in a series about binary. I'm going to talk about how computers represent negative integers using a system known as two's complement. You'll see that this system of representing negative numbers allows computers to perform subtraction operations. And you'll see some methods that can be used to convert negative denary numbers into two's complement binary. If you only ever needed to represent positive base 10 numbers in binary, then, with 8 bits for example, conversion would involve a gadget like this. Each bit has a place value, and where there's a 1, the corresponding place value is significant. It represents a portion of the complete number. This means we can convert from binary to denary by simply adding up the place values wherever there's a 1. Here, we have an 8-bit binary representation of the number 90. To represent negative numbers, we can make a very simple change to our conversion gadget. From now on, the leftmost bit will have a negative place value. With 8 bits, this place value is minus 128. We can perform the conversion in exactly the same way as before, by adding up the place values wherever there's a 1. But this time we have minus 128 in the mix. So when we do the maths, we end up with minus 38. So why is this so useful? What's so special about this way of representing negative numbers? The answer is that we have a mechanism by which computers can perform subtraction in binary. Suppose for a moment that you want to subtract 38 from 90 in base 10. You probably learned how to do this when you were very young. 8 from 10 is 2. There's the one we borrowed. 4 from 9 is 5. 90 minus 38 is 52. Or to put that another way, 90 plus negative 38 is 52. You can use the same principle to perform binary subtraction. This is 90 in binary, and this is negative 38. Let's just add them together. Now let's convert the result back into base 10. You can see it's 52, as we expected. You can also see that we can represent positive numbers using this new system. So we can see how to convert from binary to denary. Converting negative denary numbers into binary uses the same principle and the same gadget, but you do have to think a little bit harder when you're working with negative numbers. Just take your time. For example, to convert minus 6 into 8-bit binary, we know we're going to need a 1 underneath the minus 128 place value. We need to do this for every negative number. Now we need to decide what we're going to add to it in order to reach minus 6. If we add positive 64, we'll have a total of minus 64. We've got some way to go yet. If we add 32 to this, we'll have minus 32. We can keep adding. Now we'll add 16. This gives us minus 16. We haven't reached our target yet. If we add 8, we have minus 8. Nearly there. If we add 4 more, we'll exceed our target of minus 6. So we're not going to add 4. Let's add 2 instead. We've reached our target. We can fill the remaining place values with 0. And there's our final result. Let's do another example to be sure of the process. Let's convert minus 49 into 8-bit binary. As before, we're going to put a 1 underneath minus 128 and then see what we need to add to it to make it up to minus 49. If we add 64, we'll have minus 64. If we add 32, we'll have exceeded our target. Minus 32 is bigger than minus 49, so we're not going to add 32. If we add 16, on the other hand, we'll have minus 48. We've still exceeded our target. Minus 48 is bigger than minus 49. So we're not going to add 16. 
If we add 8, we have a total of minus 56. We can keep adding to this. If we add 4 to this, we have minus 52. We can add some more. If we add 2, it's minus 50. Add one more, and we've reached our target. There's minus 49 in 8-bit binary. Now we're going to take a look at some special numbers. This one is special because it's all 1s. You can see there's a 1 under every single place value. When we do the calculation, you can see that this works out to minus 1. This means that you can spot minus 1 immediately without actually doing any calculations at all. Here's another example. All of the bits are 1 except the negative place value. When we do the calculations, we're going to end up with a positive number. In fact, this positive number is the largest positive number that you can represent using 8 bits with this particular system. And here's another example. This time we have a 1 underneath the negative place value, but all of the others are 0. You can see immediately what this is going to work out to. Minus 128. This is the most negative number that we can represent using 8 bits with this particular scheme. Or to put it another way, this is the smallest number. When we only needed to represent positive numbers, with 8 bits available, we could represent 256 different base 10 values, ranging all the way from 0 to 255. In order to represent negative numbers as well, with this system, we're using half of the available bit combinations to represent negative numbers. It's still 256 values, but these values now lie between minus 128 and plus 127. Notice how all of the positive binary numbers begin with 0, and all of the negative binary numbers begin with 1. Using this method of representing binary numbers allows you to tell whether a number is positive or negative at a glance. Here are some examples you can try yourself. The binary numbers on the left need converting into denary, and the denary numbers on the right need converting into binary. I'll show you the solutions in a moment. If you want to give them a go, pause this video now. And here are the solutions. Notice how I've shown my working. Normally, if you're asked to do a conversion in an exam, you need to show how you got there. The method of conversion you've just seen is particularly useful because it lets you convert from binary to denary or from denary to binary. It also tells you something about the principle behind the representation of negative numbers in binary in terms of place values. But if all you want to do is convert from denary to binary in one direction, there's another way to arrive at exactly the same representation for a negative number. And if you don't like doing mental arithmetic with negative numbers, you'll probably find this method much easier. In fact, this alternative method of conversion gives its name to the way that computers represent negative numbers. Namely, 2's complement. Suppose you want to convert minus 6 into 8-bit binary quickly. First, write down the magnitude of minus 6, that is, its positive equivalent. In this case, plus 6. There's no need to concern yourself with negative place values. Now, we're going to decide what we need to add to each bit to make it up to 1, the so-called 1's complement of each bit. Well, to make 0 up to 1, we would need to add 1, and to make 1 up to 1, we would add 0. In other words, we invert the bits. 1s become zeros, and zeros become 1s. This is known as the 1s complement of the original number. 
Now we're going to add 1 to this 8-bit number to get the so-called 2's complement representation of minus 6. And there it is, minus 6 in binary. Let's double check that this is right by converting it back into denary using our conversion gadget. It checks out. We've arrived at the same representation that we saw before, but we got there another way. Here's another example. To convert minus 109 into 8-bit binary, we start with positive 109. We invert the bits, and then we add 1. And there it is, minus 109 in 8-bit 2's complement binary. Let's do one more for good measure. To convert minus 77 into binary, we start with positive 77. We invert the bits, and we add 1. And there's minus 77 in 8-bit 2's complement binary representation. Here are some examples you can try yourself using this alternative method of conversion. Pause the video now and I'll show you the solutions in a moment. And here are the solutions. If you want some more practice, you could go back to the previous examples and check that this method produces the same results. It should. To finish off, I'm going to show you a third method you can use to arrive at the 2's complement representation of a negative number. Let's do minus 44. First, write down positive 44. Now, starting from the right-hand side and working towards the left, write down all of the bits as they appear, up to and including the first one that you encounter. Then, continue writing down the bits, inverting as you go. Give this a try using the other methods and you'll get the same result. To summarise then, computers use 2's complement to represent negative numbers in binary. We can represent the same range of values for a given number of bits, but half of the bit combinations are being used to represent negative numbers. And there are various methods we can use to convert negative denary numbers into 2's complement binary.